got some, as they say, deer venison. I just call it exactly what it is. It's deer meat. And this right here is the pieces that I cut out of the front shoulder purposely for stew meat, soups, that's right here, that type of another. And what I did is I thawed it out overnight in the refrigerator and I decided to go ahead and make me a vegetable soup today. Vegetable type of soup, soup with beef, of course. But I want to do it with some deer. Most people up north like to call it venison. But it's deer meat. That's what I call it. Well, in honor of Dutch Oven Wars, Cast Iron Wednesday, and Helga's Pennsylvania cooking, let's get it on. We're going to do some deer vegetable soup. I keep saying stew for some reason, but this is going to be a soup, I hope. If it comes out thick, we call it a stew. There you go. There's Ozark Trails, four quart Dutch oven. Inside of it, I got some canola oil. You've already seen the video footage of the deer meat, and we're going to put it in. Dutch Oven Wars is brought to you by Dark Matter. Cast Iron Wednesday is brought to you by Native Tears. Ozark Trail is brought to you by the Four Quart Dutch Oven from Walmart. Got that deer meat. She was a marinating there pretty good. And uh, Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking kind of did this video here with that moose vegetable soup and she happened to have some of that uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I said well I got some of that let me try it and we can hear the sizzle oh yeah yeah baby I mean right off the bat we're gonna brown it up get it going Man, we need some smell of vision. Woo! That smells good. Now, here's my plan. Once that kind of browns up a little bit, we're going to add some water to it, and we're going to do a slow boil for about an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Help tenderize that deer up pretty daggum good. Then we're going to add all the ingredients in there to make it turn into a vegetable soup. Like I say, but we're making our own broth with it. So if it ends up thick, we we'll call it a stew. That's right. You can never go wrong. Either one way of cooking is root good, or one is probably bad. And, you know, who knows? It, it's going to be good no matter what. Oh, yeah, the man. She is brown. And now it's time to add a little bit of water to it. Got to be careful. There we go. So now we're going to bring it to a little simmer and boil and let this thing do its work. Deglaze the bottom. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I say that's about two and a half cups or so. I can't remember what this water bottle holds. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let that catch back up. Put the lid back on there. Let me give it another stir here right quick. Get my bottle to stand up. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I say that deer is ready. But it needs to be tenderized a little bit. And y'all know the deer meat, it takes a little while to tenderize that dude. And we'll keep a close eye on it. There's some of that Montreal steak seasoning right there. We'll try this piece right here. Mmm. Man. That is fine as it is. Goodness gracious. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Folks, that first batch of water I put in there has really cooked out. Now it's time to add the leaves right here. This is a whole stewed tomatoes that I crushed up and one can of tomato paste added. I'm going to put that in there. Courtesy of the Green Bowl Club. That happened to be Jason Williams, y'all. I know I should have went this way for the camera, but... Dead gummit. I'm an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing. I just cook. I'm going to give this right here a stir. That itty bitty stainless steel spoon. Kind of get this right here mixed up a little bit. 
buddy. And I am going to add more water to it. But you can see right now, it's looking like a beef stew with tomato paste. Oh, goodness gracious. I just want to dive in right now myself. Mm, 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 mm. All I got sitting there. Another two and a half cups of water, I believe that's what this is, possibly three. Like I say, I don't remember how much holds the Stanley holds, but anyway. I'm going to bring that liquid level back up. Get the fire stoked back up. Oh, man. Mmm. We've got some veggies going in there next. They're not fresh. They're freshly frozen from the grocery store. Just some nice stir. Now we're looking like a vegetable soup. She's got the color. Ooh, must be me. Got that Montreal steak seasoning in there. The only thing I did not uh, add to it is Worcestershire sauce. I should have, but I didn't. Might add some a little later. I don't know. Now she's all stirred up. Might as well go ahead and get them veggies back in there. Oh man, that made it looking good. This right here is the pig sweet. Y'all know about that brand. And that says veg vegetables for stew. This ain't no stew, it's a soup. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> we was over in the background drinking some root beer. Oh, hey, I dropped the tater. I'm add that to it. And put them all in there. Try it. Fair and no expense, especially when it comes to deer meat. I can freeze the leftovers. Oh, but this right here, beside the bug, this has got carrots, celery, onion, and uh, potatoes. So we're good on that. But one thing it don't got it ain't got no yellow corn in it. Now we ain't gonna put the broth in there. Uh-uh. We're gonna pour it out. I'm gonna pour it right over here to the side of the campfire. That's because I don't want the ants to get on the outside or get to me. If they get inside the fire, they, they breathe. Gonna add that corn to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And one other thing. We're gonna add uh, some more water. We want a good soup. And I think that's about right. Now, folks, this right here, I think it's time to give this right here a good taste test sample lens. Ooh, look at all the num-nums in that puppy. Hmm. Mercy, mercy me. I just hope it tastes as good as it looks and smells. Which I know it does, because I've already tried it. Hello, this is Wee Wee, Wee Wee's World, out here at Manland's Camp. Mmm. He's been, uh, cooking up some deer... Stew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before I give my official Wee Wee's honor of approval, <laughs> I hope I deserve it. Uh, you probably will. I want to give a shout out to Homestead Tessie's YouTube channel. She makes, she works hard every day. She makes everything herself, from canning to growing her own herbs, combining those herbs to make her own seasonings, uh, gardening. She does everything, and it's all done by herself, the natural way. Uh, second one would be, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Old School with a Modern Twist. Y'all go check out their channels. They are awesome. Uh, home, home is it homemade with the modern twist. Well, I know it's, uh, he used to be the the fellow James Humert, formerly known the artist formerly known as James Humert. Yeah, he changed his name. Old school with the modern twist. That's it. There you go. Old school with the modern twist. Yes, he does cooking in the cabin, outside the cabin. The wife does the cooking. Uh, he's built his cabin by his own two hands. What's her name? Brenda. Brenda, okay. His latest mm -hmm. invention 
done by his own hands is is uh, vegetable slicers. He's, mm. He made two of them out of wood and a metal slicer. Go check out their channels. Give them a thumbs up, subscribe. Both Homestead Tessie and Old School with a Modern Twist have some awesome, awesome stuff in their channels. Y'all go look. Go check them out. Thumbs up. Like their videos, subscribe, hit that bell. You'll know every time they do something. I guarantee and you it'll be fun. Let's give an honorary shout out to Alice the G-Maw. Yes, my lady, my girl, Alice the G-Maw. I love Alice the G-Maw. And now she wants to know what that food tastes like I just cooked. Yes, yeah, she do. She <laughs> do. She do. Alice the G-Maw has wonderful craft ideas. They are just absolutely beautiful, just as beautiful as she is. All right, now. <laughs> Shout out for Alice and Gma. She's my girl. All right, we're going to taste the stew. Stew? Ain't no stew. That's vegetable soup. <laughs> uh, uh, vegetable soup with thickening. <laughs> yeah, a little thick. Tomato thickening. Okay, you know, y'all ought to know by now, the first thing I'm going to try is the carrot. If you didn't know by now, this video you do know by now. Ain't got no broccoli in it. <laughs> Broccoli's still in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Okay, you notice the Stanley Cup uh, bowl? Right. That's your handle. That's why it's there. Oh. Neato. You don't need that crack to hold your spoon because it's in your hand. <laughs> it's in the other hand. Mmm. Carrots cook just right. Not too much salt. I tell you what, that soup part mm -hmm. without the vegetables is awesome. A pan of cornbread, that's all you need. That's what we, I didn't do the cornbread. A pan of cornbread. That soup is just right. It's not too oily. Because you know you do get oil re residue from mm -hmm. vegetables and just from the pot itself. Uh, not too oily. It's not too salty, and it's not too acidy from the tomatoes. It's perfect, absolute perfect. I say it's a little too salty. Well, you don't like salt. You prefer pepper, and most of the things you think you don't like is just in your head. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're hard-headed. My tummy be telling me something later on by sitting on the, the you, porcelain throne. Don't buy, nobody needs to know all that. <laughs> That's TMI. Clouds are getting dark. We may get some rain. Oh, that's why I got to go inside. And finish the okay. Eat, deer meat. Mm -hmm. Deer meat. See? Deer meat. Yeah. Deer, deer meat. meat. And corn. Deer meat and corn. Don't they go together? Yeah. And some onion. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Excellent tender. No wild game taste. Yeah, maybe after you swallow for a split second, but. Yep. Deer's supposed to have that. Supposed to. All right. Uh oh, two thumbs. Two thumbs up. What does Bones Yard say? He uh. all, he got but one word. Uh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and that's cause he's speechless. It's so dead gum good. He's speechless. All he can say is, uh, cause he didn't do it first. That's right, and that's a manland guarantee. No diggity, no doubt. Bye, y'all. <laughs>
and then uh, get it to doing its thing, tenderizing on the campfire. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put all the other num-nums in there and turn this thing to a vegetable soup or stew.